What we know right now is that nobody was inside the apartment at the time of the fire and there were no bodies in the funeral home. Awful, awful. I pulled up and I just started crying. Judy McDaniel had not been the only one. Many people showed up worried that the David C. Brown funeral home, a longtime Belleville business, would burn to the ground. Oh, oh it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. The funeral business has a residential home attached to the building that's rented out by the company's family member. Police say someone left a grill unattended and the propane tank exploded. There was uh, flames in the open uh, back apartment building area of um, the funeral home. The actual funeral home um, was fully involved when I got here. Neighbors say the food on the grill had been cooking for a party across the street where the funeral homeowners live and had been celebrating a baptism. They take care of all of our family, every one of them. Augie McDaniel says they are one of two main funeral homes in the area. According to the business's website, they have been operating in Belleville since 1974. The building used to be a moose lot until they turned it into a funeral home in 1982. Unbelievable. They do somewhere around 300 funerals a, a year. Also on their website, it says they had been preparing to hold a visitation on Wednesday and a funeral on Thursday. Most of the damage occurred at the attached home. No one was injured, and the fire chief says he's not sure how long it will be before they can reopen. From Belleville, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.